Hi everyone, let's run uh, definite integrals. Here I have uh, some examples. Look at this example. Given that uh, integrate f x with respect to x from 2 to 7 equals to 5, yeah? this is given. Find the value of uh, integrate 2 to 7. Uh, the function is a 3 f x with respect to x. And b, we have this function. Alright, so we look at the question a first. Question a. Going to integrate from a 2 to 7, 3 fx. For this question, we're going to um, apply the properties of the integration. So the property of the integration says that this uh, coefficient always can be can be factored out. We have this. Once we factor out the 3, we have this. Then uh, integrate 2 to 7, function fx is given as a 5. Just substitute the 5 inside. The answer is 15. Alright. And the question B. Have an integrate from 2 to 7. X minus 2 fx. Dx. So for this question, we can split this into 2 integral. Which I have this. And factor out the 2. Alright. Then... Uh, to have this uh, answer, it's very simple. We just uh, integrate x squared over 2 and then put in the um, lower limit and the upper limit minus. And uh, this is uh, given as a 5 as given above in the question. Integrate from 2 to 7 is equal to 5. So we just substitute as a 5. Then this you can get this value by substituting the upper limit, we put a bracket and uh, got, uh, substitute lower limit, uh, give it, uh, we provide a one bracket for the substitution of the lower limit and uh, 2 multiplied by 5 as 10. So now we can uh, substitute 7 inside, 7 substitute inside you got 49 over 2 and substitute the 2 inside you get a 4 over 2. Then with axis of your calculator you have your final answer. 25 over 2. Example C, you have this uh, function. So again, I will split them into two integrals. I have a uh, fx. And the second one is a uh, integrate 2 with respect to x. And the upper limit, lower limit will follow through. They will be called, uh, follow back what is given. That is 2 to 7. And uh, for this uh, first term, Integrate uh, f with respect to x from 2 to 7 is equivalent to 5, which is given by the question. And integrate this, you have a 2x. And you need to substitute the upper limit and lower limit. Okay, get ready for the two brackets. For the first bracket is for the substitution of the upper limit, you have a 14 later on. And the substitution of the lower limit, you have a 2 multiplied by 2. So you have a 5 plus 15, uh, 14 minus 4. That will be 10 plus 5 equals to 15. For the question D, again I'll split them into the two integral, which I have this 2 to 7 for the function x squared. Alright. Then uh, this is given as 5 in the question. Just uh, substitute the in the 5. And uh, to, to evaluate this, I need to integrate x squared with respect to x. I have x cubed of 3. And put in your upper limit and lower limit. The 5 just copy down. And I will get ready two brackets. The first one is for substitution of the upper limit. And the second bracket is for substitution of the lower limit. Substitute the upper limit, you have a 7 power of 3 over 3. And uh, substitute the 2 inside, you have a 2 power of 3 over 3. With the axis of calculator, you have a negative 320 over 3. For the question 3, this is given. Integrate from 2 to 5 equals to 5. Alright. Integrate from 5 to 8, which is, which is equal to 10. And integrate the gx function. This is different function. This is fx. This is fx. This is a different from the fx. This is uh, presented by gx. 
GX, integrate GX with respect to X from 2 to 5, you have 6. So give you three information. Define, you need to evaluate, integrate from 2 to 5, 3 FX. For this question, we can factor out the 3. Once you factor out the 3, you have integrate FX with respect to X from 2 to 5, which is given exactly in here. And the value is equal to 5. So substitute the value 5, you get 50. Alright? And look at the B, question B. Integrate from 5 to 2. We have the information given here is integrate from 2 to 5. How do we inverse reverse the uh, upper limit? To reverse the upper limit, okay, we have to put a negative in front of it. It becomes like this. Originally is 5 to 2, so now become 2 to 5, and don't forget there is a negative outside here. The function will be remain the same. Then this is given by the question, integrate 2 to 5, you have to value equals to 6, substitute 6 inside. The value is negative 6, the answer. Look at the C, you have to integrate from 2 to 5 on the function 2fx plus 3gx with respect to x. Now I split this, this function into two integral and at the same time I factor out the coefficient. Factor out the two. First integral become like this. The second term I have integrate the three in uh to outside. I have a same upper limit and lower limit and integrate gx. And this two is given by the question. Integrate from two to five for the fx, you have five. And integrate from a 2 to 5 for the function gx, you have 6. Alright, so just put in 2, this is 5, and uh, this value is equivalent to 6. You have a 10 plus 18, that will be 28. Alright, proceed to the d. We need to integrate from 2 to 8 or for the function fx. So for 2 to, 2 to 8, we don't have uh, any uh, value given directly from 2 to 8. But we have 2 to 5 and 5 to 8. So I can split them into integrate from 2 to 5 and integrate from 5 to 8. And both having the same function, that is the fx. So according to the question, this is equivalent to 5. And I integrate from 5 to 8 is given as the value of 10. Just put in the value. Finally, we got a fit. Question number four. Given that uh, integrate this function from 2 to 5 is equal to 8, evaluate this. Alright, so now you need to find 2 to 3. Integrate f x with respect to x and uh, 5 to 3. f x plus 4, x with respect to x. Integrate from 2 to 3, we, we don't have the any value, any, I mean, uh, we, we, we unable to evaluate this first, just copy it down. What we can do is now we just split this second term into two separate terms, which is uh, 5 to 3 for the function of the fx, and uh, minus negative, positive, you get the negative, integrate uh, 5, 3, 4x. Alright, and after that, 2 to 3, and uh, we have the information integrate from 2 to 5. So we actually can uh, reverse, inverse this uh, limit. I mean uh, from two, 5 to 3, we change it into the 3 to 5. Just like this. But when you reverse the lower limit and the upper limit, you need to take out the negative, meaning that here to be positive, because when you take out the negative, when you change the sign, Negative multiplied by negative, you have positive. So this upper limit and the and, uh, lower limit become reverse. Okay. Then we have this 3 to 5. And minus, if you want to reverse this uh, uh, limit, can, but it's okay if you just integrate from 5 to 3 and later on you automatically will get the value correctly. So uh, for these two, for these two terms, we actually can uh, combine them into 2 to 5 because I uh, integrate from 2 to 3 and then from 3 to 5 you add them up actually it's the same as you integrate from 2 to 5 
So we can say that this is equivalent to 2 to 5 f x with respect to x. And minus, minus integrate 5 to 3 for the function f, uh, sorry, for x. So this, uh, what is the value of this? Integrate from 2 to 5, you have the value given that is equals to 8. Just put in the 8. And for this one, you can integrate. Integrate 4x, you have a 4x squared over 2. And put in your limit. This one can be simplified. And you put a bracket so that uh, later on, you need to consider the sign. Because outside, the sign over here is negative. So it will take effect on the sign later on. Okay, so you just substitute the 3 inside or you just provide 2 brackets for it. Okay, substitute the upper limit inside. You have a 3, 2 multiplied by 3 squared that will be equals to 9. And then minus, into, uh, substitute the lower limit inside. You have a 2, 5 squared. Alright, then you have a 8 minus 18 plus this one is 50. Alright, negative multiplied by negative, you have a positive 50. Okay, so the answer is 40. For the question 5, given that integrate f x from 1 to 3 equals to 9, find the value of this. It's a very simple question. Huh? Just uh, apply the properties, take out the 4, take out the 4, factor out the 4. You can see the answer directly. This one is equivalent to 9. Meaning that you need to substitute 9 to represent this. So here you will get 36. And question B, split these two into two separate integral. You have a verb, integrate 5 with respect to x plus integrate f x with respect to x. And the limit will follow through. So integrate the 5, you have a 5x. So you need to put the upper limit and lower limit. And uh, for this one, is given by the question. Integrate 1 to 3, you got 9, right? For the function, so exactly equals to 9. This one is, can substitute that as a 9. And uh, now you need to provide two brackets. The first bracket is for substitution of the upper limit, meaning that it's 3. And substitute the lower limit, you have a 5 multiplied by 1. You have 15 minus 5 plus 9, which is equals to 10 plus 9, 19. For the question six, basically we do not need we do not need any steps. You just uh, can analyze from here. You have given the integrate two to eight. You got twelve uh, function of f x. You get twelve, and now you have an uh, integrate two to three, three to five, five to eight. So actually, if this is the same as you integrate from two to eight. Integrate from two to eight. This is equals to integrate from 2 to 8 because all the functions are the same as x. So just uh, write down the answer uh, given, the value given that is 12. This is your answer. Alright, you can answer, understand like this. Huh? Uh, for example, this is the graph of the fx maybe, y equals to fx. You need to integrate from 2, okay, this is integrate from 2 to 8. Alright, you are actually getting the uh, area under the curve. This is an example, a simple example. You need to integrate from 2 to 8, meaning that 12 unit is the area under the curve. This is a 12 unit square. Okay, so now the question asking for integrate the same, the function of fx from 2 to 3, meaning that 3 maybe somewhere here. You integrate from 2 to 3, meaning that you get this area. And plus, Combine by, you integrate from 3 to 5, maybe the 5 is somewhere here. Okay, so I draw it with this line. This is the integrate from 3 to 5, which is represented by this um, second term. And uh, integrate from 5 to 8, which is equal to this, this area. The dotted, the red dotted area is the integration for the, from the 5 to 8. So combine this 3. Is actually equivalent to integrate from 2 to 8. That is equals to 12. Right? 